now we are going to talk about cursors okay so we have seen in our previous example here we are executing a query select name comma address from employees where employee ID is equal to something okay obviously this query is going to give me a single row okay assuming employee ID is my primary key in the table this query is going to give me a single row okay so since it is a single row I could have those fields in the row in my variables what happens if my query gives me multiple rows okay so let us assume I want to print out the names and addresses of all the employees in a particular department okay in that case what am I going to do I am going to use a cursor okay so what is a cursor simply speaking cursor is a pointer to set of rows okay here set is not actually a set it could be a multi set okay it's a pointer to set of rows so what is the use of cursors the use of cursors would be to iteratively operate upon each row okay So I am just going to say that cursors are used to iteratively operate upon each row. So let us suppose your SQL query gives you these many rows. Okay. So initially your cursor is going to point over here. It is going to point at the beginning of the row. Okay. It is going to point at the position which is not the first row but before the first row okay so I'm just going to say this is your initial cursor position okay and as you iterate it is going to finally point over here okay once you have iterated at all the values your final position would come over here now I have told you about SQL code okay we have seen that when SQL code is greater than or equal to zero it indicates no more data so basically SQL code greater than zero indicates this position final position okay so let me just write down over here here you are going to have SQL code greater than zero so in your for loop you can check out for your SQL code greater than zero whenever you get it greater than zero then it means you have operated upon all of your rows in the result of your query okay so let me give you an example how do we use cursors in embedded SQL and with that example we are going to understand how cursors are actually declared or actually used okay so here is a code snippet that prints the names and addresses of all the employees in a given department so what we are doing is simply having our department ID in a shared variable obviously these are declared okay we are assuming that this is declared somewhere you have to declare it as a shared variable then we have to declare a cursor okay so how do we declare a cursor we declare a cursor using this syntax exec SQL because it is an embedded SQL statement then we say declare we give the name of the cursor it could be anything then we say it is a cursor for a particular query okay in my case the query is select name comma address from employees where department ID is the department ID that I have received over here okay at this moment I have just declared the cursor okay this query has not been executed okay so let me just write down over here that let's do like this declaration does not lead to execution of query okay 